Hello, all of you galactic peasants. Ronald Easter here. My occupation is the head of security. I'm in charge of the quote-unquote protection of the station. I got my gun out of my locker like an edgy joke about school shootings, then some space prankster hit my window with sand. Of course, the beach kicker was none other than a big daddy from Bioshock disguised as an engineer. This cretin started some unauthorized construction on my office. He then stole my locker on some grade BS bullshit. Oh well, like I said, I already grabbed my fancy gun from it. I came across the rare sighting of a female on this space station. It was the detective, and they had a request. Hey, mind if I scan your office, boss? I am mindless when it comes to this. Whatever to nab that closet raider. I then told everybody how it was gonna be. Yes, if you come near my armory, I'll shoot you. Hey, boss. Never mind, we got a warden. Their job now. A generic Spartan from one of the new Halo games was trying to get my attention, but it was having some trouble. Oi, Ronald, you guys want a sack, bot? I then asked the stranger, Who the fuck are you? I am the research director, cuz. I responded like any skeptic should. Yeah. Okay, you just look like a robot. <laughs> I am human, laddie. Oh, I see. Good. This Chucky lookalike was kind of frightening, but I accepted the Sekbot offer. I just hope this robo leaves me alone and doesn't bug me about any equipment. I noticed the lawyer in his lawsuit of a blue shit suit outfit. This lousy green-haired unprofessional better not get the sin of suing. I greeted this rat with space station hospitality. Hey, lawyer, what do you want? Do you have any perma convicts? It was still early, so I replied with, Not yet. Good. But, you can be one. Haha, <laughs> of course. We'll bring my untimely death all that much closer. Looking forward to it, you know? Such a strange outlook on life. The detective then filled me in on her findings. Mark Mingle's our thief. Grand theft is a capital crime. Good. Let's kill him. Alright. While I was chilling with this robot, I felt like I was being watched. But would you look at that? I was being stalked. That Mark was hiding behind my oxygen toggle button. He was just standing in my office trying to intimidate me. However, that wasn't going to work on my balls of steel courage. It wasn't long before the cyborg started pestering me like a picky warrior. Sir, I cannot find the armor I need, laddie. That had nothing to do with any of my problems, so I just ignored him. The captain arrived to the brig. He was at max capacity condom level, which is probably why he approached me like an annoying fan. Damn, it's Ronald Easter! Is that the real guy? I'm going to fucking pop myself in the head, you dumb fucks. I sort of felt this way too, but it was my job to keep on fighting to protect this station. If I don't do it, then who will? The captain and the research director? Both of them seemed too psychologically unstable for their positions. I went back to chilling and just hanging around when I saw a mysterious person looking more chill than me. I had no other options but to get my gun out and stun him. I fired my stun blast which dropped my competitor, so I started to arrest him. During this I heard over the radio. I couldn't tell if that creepy voice just wanted to be a clown or what, but I had other problems at hand. I'm a guard! Undercover guard! Who the fuck is this guy? I asked like he didn't just say. Then the guy who sounds like he's trying to get money for ransom said, He has an implant. Undercover guard! I was treated with the highest respect. You dumbass. You couldn't buy that kind of respect. Ronald, open your fucking office. I felt like everybody was lying to me like I was Alex Jones. Check roster, I'm a guard who has disguised his crew. While this all went down, that beggar was still begging. Can someone give me a taser, please? I was still able to keep this off of my to-do list, though, but my attention was more held towards this Russian spy situation, but my reliable detective told me the guy was telling the truth. Can confirm, sir. Records list him as sick. Oh, well. Sorry for confusion, boss. Why the fuck does nobody tell me? Sir, I need the taser. 
Just watching your back as hidden crew member. My bad, cuz. It's cool. At least he had a better chance of survival than an officer on Hippie Station does. One of my more noble officers was wearing a hard suit so he could fight the terrorist known as Mingle. Then the chief engineer came along to fix this shit. Let me in! Here to fix this shit! Damn, he was brave and crazy as journalists in a war zone. The AI then hit us with a warning. He's ready for guns. The armory is my pride and joy. I didn't give a fuck about the station. I just needed to protect those guns. The hole in the wall signifies the traitor's been here. Taser guy was of course still at it like an addict. Sir, one taser. That's all I need. <laughs> oh great, the semen denier is back. But at least he looks like he's ready to do something. The captain was a copperphile, and he was ready for action. Fuck this shit! Give me a fucking shotgun! Mr. Mingle was trying to give me a spooky, life-threatening Halloween time. HOS, I don't need to kill all of your officers. Jess! Ah, Mingle! Are you using my Rick suits to commit crimes? I then got in on the shit talking like a kid on an Xbox Live headset. Then come fight me like a man. I don't have a space suit. You do have a space suit. It's in your office locker. I entered the armory and noticed more missing guns. I then peeked out into space to see the radio tough guy floating around. The captain and RD actually did something good by bringing the threat in. The captain dragged in the sorry mark so we could give him a proper beating. We both kicked him to death as our security team cheered us on. I then started to hand out free guns like I was a fuse between a Republican and a Democrat. The detective was my first charity case. Nice. Thanks. I then saw some work I really didn't want to deal with. I need backup! Now! HOS, get in here! Take him. Take him, HOS. He's in Bolster. I now had another traitor in custody. I was told he killed the captain, so I asked him, You? Killed Jerry Lemons? No. The creep replied, Who even is Jerry Lemons? What happened to Jerry? Who killed him? Who is Jerry Lemons? The captain. Oh yeah, I killed him. Oh, you son of a bitch. Captain from behind. Silence isn't really good for this. I was triggered, so I started beating him to death with my laser gun. Please, no! Please, can I be an ass? Set. My clothes were covered in blood, but the heckler still wanted to bother me. HOS, yo! Can you send me to Lava Land on the labor shuttle? Xenos took over mining. So there was that miner guy who wanted to use my shuttle. Oh, and then there was the snitch. Jack O'Donoghue is a fucking traitor. Check his backpack. All right. Well, you guys stay out there. I'll stay in here. I'm reporting a criminal. HOS, seriously? Mining is dying. I let that sweet angel in, but I wasn't going with him on that shuttle. I had better horrors to mine. The captain was alive and well. He brought my would-be assassin down, but he was still a condom. Would you look at that? I actually made out alive on the escape shuttle. He celebrated with spinning chairs. We arrived to our destination, and the shuttle became a free-for-all brawl. Anybody that wanted to fight could. All grudges would be settled then and there. So if anybody wanted to challenge me, I would just get set on fire and run around. Oh, and there was a Digimon creature out, taking heads. I wasn't scared of this bitch. Okay, actually yeah, I was. It started running at me, oh shit. Oh, but this is the experience of surviving. I think I'd rather die. All right, you're out of here, pal. Take off. Uh, hey, I got something for the trip. Pot, acid, lube, cocaine. You name the trip. It's in the bag.